Okay guys, I was about to water the garden and in the watering can was this bee. It was totally motionless and I presumed it had already drowned. So I, I kind of was ignoring it and just um, about to water the garden when the next minute its little legs started moving. So I gently, oh, and I keep thinking it might sting me. <laughs> I am, um, it, I gently poured it out onto a plant and will it sting me, Paul? <laughs> Probably not. I'm taking the risk. Oh, it's tickly. Well, um, my husband is filming this. So, oh, um, I thought, okay, it's probably freezing cold and, uh, you know, they do say they do like to sit on your hand because they're trying to warm themselves up and um, once they're warmed up they'll feel more able to walk away or, or fly and I thought, not only that, its wings must be soaking. Normally, of course, if it was a nice sunny day, it would sunbathe until its wings are, are warmed again. Um, but it's evening now and it's kind of cold. I think it might be a wee bit upset because of the way it's being a bit furtive here. But, as I say, I'm trying to make sure it, oh, it warms up a little. Now, if it does start flying, I'll put it straight out into the garden. But I've just brought it in the conservatory to let it warm up a little. It's not interested in the sugared water. Maybe not feeling very hungry after being half drowned. So it's if it does start to try and move its wings a bit more, I think, yeah, it's maybe wanting to go away. So I'll take it in the garden so it's got the freedom to fly. Um, but I will leave it on my hand because sometimes they do just want to walk all over you to warm up. And it has the freedom to fly away if it wants to. Sugar water's here, I'll, I'll keep trying in case it wants some. It's possibly quite nervous here and a little afraid so I'll move outside now. Um, I, I did this a couple of weeks ago with one and it crawled right up my arm and under my sleeve and I had to fetch it out. So it will look, it is certainly looking better moving around more freely so oh it's lovely. Honestly I thought it was dead. Now does that look better to you Paul? Say yes, Laura. Yes, Laura. <laughs> oh, it's, it's just a shame it's quite dark and you can't see it very well. But before it goes up my sleeve, we shall go outside. So if you see a, a bumblebee in water, please try and rescue it and let it dry out a little and warm itself off your skin. Oh, bye-bye, little bee. It's not a bumblebee, I don't know what it is, I'm not an expert in bees, but I'd best go because it's nearly up my shirt. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Well guys, that seems to have been <clears throat> a success. I came outside, sat for a moment on my chair, and a little bee started um, fluttering its wings about a little bit, and hovered ever so slightly and rested again then hovered and then I heard that wonderful noise of the buzz as it um, took off and flew away. So I, st I did offer it sugared water again but it wasn't interested um, and it flew away so hopefully it will survive. So if we see little insects in the water they may well not be dead and um, I don't think she'll be wanting a bath again in a hurry, <laughs> but I feel so happy. That was really such fun. Um, I did wonder if, if, if he may sting me, but I've heard that apparently they just won't. They're not interested in stinging you, and they'd rather just have the warmth from your skin. Even if they start to... It did at one point go into the defensive mode, where it kind of arches up on its four legs and um, 
it didn't put its front two legs up in the air as if doing a high five with me. Apparently when they do that they're very frightened. It didn't do that, but it kind of arched itself a little bit. And then it stood absolutely still, frozen still, and I thought, is he playing dead? Maybe? But anyhow, I just waited and... Yeah, it seems that, that once he warmed up, he felt able to fly away. So, happy days. Bonnie Scottish bee. I heard someone uh, using their lawnmower there. It's quite late at night. It's almost dark. Never mind, but when I heard it, it sounded like the buzz of a bee, so I thought, oh, she's back. <laughs> Um, oh, it's actually my, my husband doing the hoovering, so I'll be just go in and help him. Thank you for watching. It reminds me, um, about a fortnight ago, my husband saw this and ordered it. A little bee hotel. So, we had one before years ago, but nothing came to it. Um, and I went online and looked at, at beekeeping websites so obviously you have to do what the experts tell you and you should place it somewhere where the, the sun will actually shine on it not in the shade and also somewhere that will not have the wind uh, directed at it either and this is a little basic one but while I was on be videos, guys who really know what they're doing and they make their own and um, fascinating stuff so I made that into a playlist for myself and I've decided to do it properly, do what they do um, and even, you know, they even go in um, and, and open up the, the tubes and clean them out once everyone's gone and all the larvae have hatched and all of that so, and my cat wants to see what we're up to here it's a bee hotel, Lily. So, quite exciting because, as you know, we need to try and help our bees. And we certainly seem to get a lot in this garden, so... A nice little hobby. I'll probably upload some pictures and videos of them when they come. If they come, they should do. And, yeah, we will watch, watch this space. So normally it's, it's this one, Lily, who informs me when there is a bee in the garden, struggling in the grass or whatever. But of course, she didn't see him in the, the watering can. That's a new house for the bees, Lily. And the wee babies. Mm-hmm. Not sure if you can really see this at all. It's half past nine, so it's getting dark. Say bye bye. Bye bye, the bee. Did you see me with that little bee again? Hey? Did you, baby? We go in now. Okay, go in now. Let me see your lovely face. Never work with animals or children with filming photography. So, there we are. It was on Amazon. Anyhow, I'm going in. It's way too dark to be doing this nonsense.